right? And that's re those results are fruit. All right, those results yield fruit. Okay. Now going from now, I want to get the book of John, chapter. Uh, let's see, it's lucky. Uh, John chapter fourteen. And um. It's like you uh, bear me for one second. All right, John chapter 14, verse 13. It says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. All right, so there it is again, man. Whatsoever ye shall ask in the name, what, what name? Yahweh Shai. All right, not, not Christ, not Jesus, not Jesus. All right. He says, that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son. That's why we say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh, that's the true name of the heavenly father, Bahashem in the name. And then Yahweh Shai, which is the, the true name of his son. All right. So Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 14 says, and if Ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you, oh, and here's the point right here, verse 15. It says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And we've been going heavy about keep, uh, keeping that, that, that commandment, in which um, Yahweh Shai even made a statement about that, where it speaks about the, where the Pharisees came up and asked him, uh, What's the greatest commandment? And then he told them and said, The first the first one or uh, the greatest commandment is uh, uh the most high you have the most high power and you should have no other, no other guys before him and the second is like unto it so the second one that he was mentioning actually let me get it man i don't, don't want to quote it uh now it's a book of uh matthew chapter 22 verse uh verse 36 it says, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? All right. In other words, what is the, what is the uh, greatest commandment in the law? And, and Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thou shalt love Yahweh, thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. See? So the second is is, is right up there with... with um, to love uh, yeah, Yahweh, thy power with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, right? It says, the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. All right? So there it is, man. And all that is pertaining unto doing the work. All right. Because uh let's see. Uh let's see, it's like it. Give me one second. There's a point that I want to make. Um uh, This is uh, Matthew chapter 25, verse uh, 34. It says, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, and hear the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Actually, let me start a, a, a few verses up. All right, it's verse 31. It says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with them, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats now that's not talking about you know Edomites or or um, all the different nations man alright really that's that's going into um, Israel alright because there are plenty of scriptures where it speaks about he, didn't, he was not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel that's Matthews 10 all right, and there's another account where um, ran into uh, a woman, right? 
And he said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He even he ran into a um, woman, a Samaritan woman at the well. And um, he said the same thing, man. All right. He said, it will come a point in time where neither you or your fathers will worship at this mountain. All right. Now, read on, man. It says, uh, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided sheep from the goats. See? Because there's a scripture where it speaks about he shall gather his elect from the four winds. All right? From one end of heaven to the other. It says, he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. All right? That's also talking about the two thirds, man. All right, they're also a part of part of that number of, of the goats, man. All right. So then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, "Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered and ye gave me meat; I was thirsty and you gave me drink; I was a stranger and you took me in; naked and ye clothed me." I was sick and ye visited me. And I was in prison and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we, when saw we thee in the hunger and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? All right. It's talking about uh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Which is the king. All right, it says, come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. In which, it's, oh man, it, this might, this, this might be a little, you know, this, this is meat, you know, but, you know, I got to bring it out, man. Now, he said, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So even before the foundation of the world, the ones, those, those individuals are already chosen, man. All right. Cause see, remember where I spoke about the uh, the child and his father and the child's friend. All right. You have to you have to know. You have to know uh, that person from the uh, from the beginning, man. All right. Like I said, you have a childhood friend. All right, and then you grow up, grow up in your um your adult ages. And you know he's still your close friend. All right, that's the thing about having having a friend, man. All right. It says, uh, "I'm gonna read it once again, man." Verse thirty-four it said, "Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, and here the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world." All right. So the kingdom is prepared for us, man. I'm going to go back to John 14 in a second because it's going to tie right into this. It says, uh, I'm going to read verse 35 again. It says, For I was a hunger and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. Naked and you clothed me and I was I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. Verse 37. It says, Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hunger and fed thee? Or thirsty and gave thee drink. When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee, thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, which the king, Yahweh shall again. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. All right. See, and that's what we're doing, man. The ones we going to the ones that are poor, that are hungry, all right, that are naked. That's doing the work, man. All right, that's doing the work. All this ties into doing the work, man, and and teaching. Okay. So he said, unto one of the least of these brethren, ye ye have also done unto me. All right. 
Because even though Yahweh Shah is not here physically, he's here spiritually, man. All right? And the way that he's made manifest is through these scriptures. See, that's why in the early in the part of this video, I said a friend, a friend knows the secrets of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah's friends know his secret, man. All right? Which the secrets are contained within these scriptures, and which once again, like I said, Yahweh Shai is in the scriptures. That goes in the Psalm chapter 40, Hebrew chapter 10, man. It says, For lo, I come in the volume of the book, and is written of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Now, verse 41 said, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was in hunger and you gave me no meat. Now we already know who this is going into. It says, For I was in hunger and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. Now, that's not do that's not doing the work. Not teaching. Alright. I was a stranger and you took me not in. Naked and you clothed me not, sick and in, and in prison, and you visited me not. Alright. Then shall they also also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger or a thirst? Or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye did it not to the one of the one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. All right, and you know what? That's a cold cut to these guys, man. Cause guess what? Cause uh, back then, the ones that believed in Yahweh Shai did the things that 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 um he commanded them to do. All right, which is what. <laughs> 